Hello and welcome to Remove Duplication with Let. My name's Jeff and I am glad that you're here. Let's just jump right in. Let's zoom way out for a second. The let function allows us to define formula scoped names. Wait, what? I know, I know. So check it out. Um, if you're familiar with defined names, they've been in Excel for decades. They allow us to create a name that refers to some type of expression um, and then reference that name throughout the workbook, workbook scope, or a worksheet, worksheet scope. Now with the let function, we can define formula scoped names. And one really, really important benefit of, of the let function is that this allows us to eliminate or, or reduce or minimize duplication within formulas. And duplication within formulas is a problem because it makes formulas harder to update and maintain over time. So I put this simple example together to demonstrate. Uh, this is a basic report and I want to make sure that total assets is equal to total liabilities and equity. And if it's not, I want some type of alert. So I want to compare to see if the difference between these is equal to zero. If the difference is equal to zero, I'm okay. Otherwise, I have a problem. So let's use an if function. Okay, and if this minus this is equal to zero, then I am okay. Otherwise, I am off by the difference, which is, again, this minus this. Close the if function. Now, before I hit enter, let's review. I'm asking the if function to look to see if the difference is equal to zero. If it is, we're okay. Otherwise, we're off by, and then I join through the concatenation operator, the difference again. So let's hit enter. Let's just confirm it works. Okay, I'm in balance. That's good. I go to 90,000, and I'm off by 118. That looks good. Let's undo. Let's go back here. Now, let's analyze this formula. I have duplication. In this case, it's a simple expression, but depending on what you're working on, the duplication could be more, you know, more prominent. It could be a VLOOKUP function. It could be a range. It could be uh, other functions, more complicated expressions. But the idea is we want to reduce or eliminate this kind of duplication because next period, what happens if the location of total assets moves? Now I have to update it in multiple places, and I hope that I recognize and realize that I do have to update it in multiple places. And so I have to sort of hunt down every, every reference or every, every expression, every duplication. So what if we wanted to, to minimize the duplication or eliminate it? Well, let's take a look at the let function, equals let. The idea here is we define formula scoped names. So we define a name, and then the expression. So these are name value pairs. And values can be values, they can be references, expressions, functions, and you get the idea. So let's define a name diff. And we're gonna set that equal to this minus this, comma. And we can go on to define additional name value pairs. And then we can reference those names in our calculation argument. So this could be, you know, if the diff is equal to zero, then we're okay. Otherwise, we are off by the diff. Close the if function, close the let function. Before I hit enter, let's review. Here I'm defining diff and its expression and then referencing it by name throughout our calculation as needed. Enter. Okay, let's just confirm it works, 90,000. Okay, we're good, let's undo. And Jeff, that seems more complicated. Okay, it is more complicated to set up initially, but now the big benefit is that I've removed that duplication. So when I update this in the future, I just need to update it in one place. Okay, and that is going to make the formulas easier to, to manage um, and understand. And, and maintain an update going forward, okay? Um, we also get a performance boost, but honestly, in, in many situations, we're not gonna really notice a performance boost unless it's some really large workbook, and in that case, um, we might be able to notice a, a performance difference, you know, recalc time. 
But for simple examples like this, the big benefit is that the formulas become easier to maintain and update because we've eliminated duplication within our formulas, okay? Hey, hopefully that helps. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 